John Davidson here with Sprayworks Equipment Group. Let's get ready for another episode of Fix It Friday. On this week's episode of Fix It Friday, we're going to discuss the PMC PK25 hose heat system and do some troubleshooting. Like most other machines in this, in this bracket, the hose heat systems are very similar, so there's going to be some crossover and familiarity with the other systems. So you showed up to the job, you turn your machine on, and your hose heat isn't working. The indicator light, the white indicator light, provided by PMC on their machines at the bottom doesn't come on and your hose heats off. Before you go jumping into the hose and, and trying to figure out the continuity and stuff of the hose and doing those measurements, you first want to check your breakers. The machine hose heat system has two breakers in it, one in the upper console and one at the lower in the transformer console. The transformer console has a breaker on the face. It's an exterior breaker. If it's down, it should indicate that it's off on the switch you'll want to turn that switch up. If it's in the console, undo the three screws on the front, open the console, and the circuit breaker three is notated as the hose breaker. Just make sure that you turn that on. You've checked all that. Now what's the next move? So the next move you want to do is go ahead and open up your transformer console. If you open up the transformer console, you'll notice that the solid state relay is in there. On your screen, the out input, the indicator light should be on, as well as the solid state relay indicator light. That's the green light on the relay located in the front of the box. If the indicator light on, on the controller says out and the indicator light on the controller is working, it is sending a signal to the controller telling it to be on. So you've checked your breakers. Both are on. The hose heat light still hasn't come on. You're not getting hose heat. Next thing you'll want to check before you go digging into the hose is that the solid state relay is working properly. So on your on your controller face, the LED signal for out is telling the solid state relay that it needs to be on. So coinciding with that on the solid state relay is the green indicator light. If the out signal is on and the green indicator light is on, that means that you should have power going up your hose. Now we need to take it a step further and dig into the hose. In order to check continuity of the hose to make sure that it's complete in the circuit and that there's not a break in that section, what you're going to need is a multi-tester um, that'll, that'll give you resistance and uh, the, the Allen wrench uh, for the bullet connectors on the hose. You'll need to do some disconnecting to do some testing here. It's a 5 16 Allen wrench, pretty universal on all the PMC equipment. So you've checked that the breakers are on. You've checked that the solid state relay is in fact lit up. Not sure that it's totally operable, but at this point we can move on to the to the hose. Before we do that, you'll want to shut everything down. This is a uh, you know 90 volt systems, 120 volt systems, depending on the machines you're working on. So you want to shut that down and make sure that the power is off. Um, so you'll have the bullet connectors. These are the first ones off the transformer. You'll see these black lines coming out the front. These are your voltage lines. Don't get this confused with the purple wire. The purple wire is a communication wire. It's not a high voltage line. Just the black, the black, the two black cords going into the hoses. This is what runs up through the, through the element and heats your system. So with the equipment off, go ahead and disconnect both bullet connectors from the, from the hose. And So what we'll do, and then once you have these disconnected, you have both leads here, you'll be able to go ahead and test for continuity. So on your multimeter, set it to the speaker. Uh, on there, test your uh, instrument to make sure that you got a circuit. Go ahead and take each lead from the hose side and test, hold them together. There is no circuit completing, therefore the beep is not going on. So you know that you have a break somewhere in the heating system not completing the circuit. So what you're going to want to do at this point 
is go ahead and start at the whip and work back. So you have these connections either at every 50 foot interval or every 100 foot interval. Uh, we always recommend start at the hose end and work your way back. Reason being is that you want to start the whip is because that's where all the abuse happens. That's, that's the end of the hose that gets the most use. And uh, typically 90% of the time, the problem is in the whip and we can bypass that whip or eliminate the section of hose that's bad. So uh, in this case, we're just, we're just gonna go ahead, test on the other side end and uh, see what happens. We've exposed the whip end now. This is where the TSU is located on this system. Typically, they are located at the whip, but most of the interior insulator people, the guys doing coatings, uh, roofing guys, sometimes these, these are set further back. TSU really isn't critical at this point because we are still testing the heating side of the system, not the, not the sensing side of the hose. So what we want to do is test our whip to see if it's working. Again, with the machine off still, go ahead and undo these lines and I leave one bullet connector on the whip I leave one bullet connector back on the main hose and you'll see why in a moment so then I can take my tester and and uh, test to see if my whip is working okay now we can test our whip do is put it on there stick it down the bullet connector we don't have continuity. In this case, we have a whip that's, that's, that's gone bad. Now that doesn't mean that we're done. What we can do is bypass that part of the heating simply by taking the two final lines that are coming out of the last section of hose and looping them together. We can attach these and then we can go back to our machine and test for continuity make sure that there isn't more than one break in the system. This now bypasses the heat going into your whip. Now that'll get you through the day. Now what's going to happen is if you're in really cold weather, that first shot of foam that you're going to take is going to be cold. So you want to take that off target or off the prepared surface and spray in a bag or off on a piece of cardboard or something and just to clear that cold, cold material until you get some good warm material. Once you get going, just keep going. If you do have to take a break and you lay it down, Hose heat system is still going to work, but again, you got 10 foot of hose at the end that is not being heated. When you go back to proceed, go ahead and uh, do a test shot. Okay, so we located a break in the circuit at the whip. We've done the bypass by simply connecting the last two black lines coming out of the last section of hose uh, with one bullet connector, completing the heating circuit. Now we can go back and test again. Back at the hose where it starts at the machine. And you can hear that we have continuity again here. Thank you for watching Fix It Friday. Please like and subscribe.